This is uh, an open and shut case then against Mr. Chidambaram. First big newsmaker joining us on the program tonight. The man who's been leading investigations against Mr. Chidambaram for a very, very long period of time. Dr. Sobram Swami joining us. Dr. Swami, thank you so much for joining us. How should I be looking at this entire story, sir? Is Mr. Chidambaram and the Congress Party's defense valid that this was a policy decision which was being taken? It was not a policy decision which was being taken with the purpose of helping a few top corporate houses? First of all, uh, they are no business taking a policy decision on the 14th of May. The, uh, uh, the model uh, code was in operation and it's a criminal offense. Hmm. Uh, that itself is a uh, violation. Uh, second is that uh, what they did was that the earlier requirement for exporting 20% hmm. of the gold, hmm. if you are to uh, get more, uh, import more gold, hmm. that was given a go by for 13 companies. Hmm. Uh, one of them uh, was this uh, Choksi company. Right. Then there is one uh, star company which is, has connections with uh, Dubai. Hmm. And uh, so uh, these were actually done as a favor to make them to mint money hmm. and uh, they were in this uh, but how uh, how how may I, may I, may I, one moment one so, moment dr swami dr swami in the past one more dr swami take my question in the past you have gone on record to say that raguram rajan's role as rbi governor needs to be investigated very closely now we have revealed here in the story how how repeatedly letters are being written by the bullion traders association to the then rbi governor appealing to him that he should not, both Mr. Subarao as well as Raghuram Rajan, that they should not allow tweaking of the scheme, yet this tweaking was done. So who's the villain here? Is Raghuram Rajan the villain or Mr. Chidabram the villain then, sir? No, on that particular date, uh, Mr. Raghuram Rajan was when the finance ministry hmm. uh, correspondence reached his uh, table. Hmm. He is the one who has to uh, make the announcement and he is the one who made the announcement. Hmm. So they are both complicit. Hmm. And uh, they were they had to work in tandem, and they did work in tandem, hmm. and so it's a conspiracy between the two of them. Are you then saying that the CBI, the Enforcement Directorate, which is investigating yes. this entire case, are yes. you willing to say on this program tonight yes. that the CBI must investigate Raghuram Rajan and D. Subarao as well? <laughs> Why D. Subarao? He was not in the picture. That was an earlier. Uh, uh, Occasion. Here was a violation starting with the violation of the model con uh, con uh, code of contact and two uh, model uh, code and the two, the relaxation of that 20 uh, no, uh, no, no. percent, which yeah, is yeah. the 80 20 Dr. Swami, Dr. Swami, let, let's look at the dates. The dates are very straightforward, Dr. Yeah. Swami. The story begins in August 2013. On the 31st of July 2012, Mr. Chidamram becomes a finance minister. In the month of August 2013, the then governor, the then RBI governor, Mr. D. Subarao, signs off on the government's 80-20 scheme. So I am looking at it from the first principal character of the story. The man who put his initial signatures. Then the protest letter is given to, to Raghuram Rajan, who comes into scene later. And rather curiously, the same Raghuram Rajan, after a change of government has taken place, decides to go ahead with overruling his own, his own scheme. His own decision which he had taken when the UPA was in power... When another letter of complaint is written to him in 2014, when Mr. Modi has become the Prime Minister, he changes his decision. Why should I not be saying that there is an urgent need no. for both these individuals to be investigated, sir? 80-20 was a policy. Hmm. And what was uh, done by Mr. Chidamram was to, uh, to create a loophole hmm. where a certain set of companies didn't have to prove or show that they had actually exported 20% gold hmm. from what they had imported from past. Hmm. And uh, that is where the corruption comes. Hmm. And they, they uh, piled in uh, as much as they could in the short period of time to call the gold that they could uh, get. And of course, they gave gold bars to some uh, police, uh, to our finance ministry officials also, hmm. which, are, which is a story in the making just now. Hmm. So I think the whole thing, the CBI has to investigate Mr. Chidamram and Mr. Raghuram Rajan. The policy may be flawed, but it was a policy. What Mr. Chidamram did on the 14th of May was to uh, give the loophole by which they don't have to show that they have, uh, have exported 20% of the gold. Between 14th of May, sir, between 14th of May 2014 yes. and 21st of May 2014, yes. Mr. Chidamram by 21st was a caretaker yes. finance minister. 
tell me what is the protocol what is the what yes. what is the established law of the land is is a caretaker finance minister in a position in which he can enact in which he can enact a, a, the tweaking of a, of a certain government policy absolutely not he cannot do it's only a, what they call as kam chalao sarkar that means whatever has been done already will be continued hmm. but he cannot change anything hmm. okay so your that is the uh, uh, moral so, code and it carries with it a criminal uh, uh, prosecution so what is the best way sir then i just want to know very simply and directly from you dr swami what is the best way to come to a closure on this case on whether mr chidambaram or raghuram rajan did they really exceed the brief was there any kind of connivance do you believe a cbi investigation now needs to take place against both these individuals specifically in this 8020 case absolutely i'm sure it is taking place i'm not saying that it should take place hmm. i'm pretty sure it is going to take place well i'm uh, we, we we haven't seen any evidence whatsoever so far of raghuram rajan being questioned by the cbi in any way whatsoever dr swami but thanks so much thanks so much for joining us and giving us a clear straightforward news point raghuram rajan also needs to be questioned i think i think